off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay It is, what time is it? I need to turn my phone off <laughs> My sisters are texting me I don't know why they're awake this early well, my one sister might be working. Also, Lydia has texted me, so thank you, Lydia. <laughs> she, I think I surprised her that I was awake at 4.30 in the morning. She's East Coast time, but still. Um, I haven't been able to sleep. It is 5.40 in the morning. I am ready to go, waiting for Jason, and I have 2% left on this stupid video that I was up till midnight trying to get to upload. <sighs> Regardless of that, I have my surgery pajamas on. I've got shorts on. And I have that little like bralette, I would call it, because it, there's like zero support. We're barely holding the ladies up. But to give an idea before, it's probably hard to tell. I can tell the difference. We're the ladies. <laughs> if this is TMI, just scroll past this video. But if you are new to my channel because of this video or this series, I am having my breast reduction and breast lift today. More breast lift and then mild breast reduction. Um, my doctor knows to make me smaller than he was anticipating in hopes that like I don't get larger later on in life during menopause. <laughs> um, this video will have a lot of TMI. I won't be revealing myself by any means, but I probably will show some of what, um, like the, the compression bra and whatnot. And maybe if the drains are empty, I can show you that part, um, just to show you what the drains look like. Cause I know that that um, was something that I was curious about. They weren't shaped like I thought they would be shaped. So I'm just, you know, curious. And so I'm sure some of you might be, um, I'm, I'm very nervous. Like I said, I was up till midnight. I probably fell asleep at one, woke up at two, and then again at four, and I've been awake ever since. So, <laughs> I know that I'm gonna sleep all that all afternoon when we get home, and so I wasn't terribly worried about getting sleep. I just needed to be to this point, to be getting in a car and going. I also want to get in the car and get going because I don't have any lotion on my whole body, and I can't handle that. I did cheat and put chapstick on but I have a wet wipe in the car and when I get there I'm gonna wipe it off but I can't I can't with no chapstick we're gonna not talk very much um at some point when I Jason drops me off at the surgical center he will get charge of the camera um I'm hoping I can either sneak in my phone or they let me take it um and understand that I want to try and film my perspective um of pre-surgery and maybe even a little after before he comes to pick me up. He's not allowed to come with me. He's not allowed to come in with me. They haven't let go of the COVID rules. Um, there's Jason. Did you change your shirt from yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Kenny, you wore the same shirt yesterday. <laughs> maybe we could change it to do a different one. He's just gonna come back and go to bed. But let's get on the road and let's go get these ladies lifted. Just got here. What do you just got here? What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm not nauseous anymore. Um, it doesn't last very long at all. Um, but I'm I'm extremely nervous. Like this patient pickup is like very nervous. Makes me very nervous. So Jason will come back here. They're gonna give him like a half hour's notice to come back down here. 
Um, so probably about a half hour after surgery, they'll call him and tell him to come down. So he's here in time. Um, if they just give me the rough time, I'll just come down early. Yeah, I mean, you know the rough time. You never know traffic on 405. It could take 45 minutes. Just to... I know. So just around 12, just kind of look at the web, at the traffic or whatnot. You could even just come and get lunch at Wendy's and then come sit yeah. in the parking lot. But I would get something and then come sit here. Yeah. But, I don't know. Some of my friends are texting me. I need to respond back to them. Why? And I have an extra pair of panties in case I pee my pants when I puke. <laughs> I worry about Good planning. Why, why, why would you puke? Because I, like nauseous from like the anesthesia. Right. right. Ta-ta later. Ta-ta <laughs> later. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Well, my reaction. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm nervous for it. I think all will go well. Uh, it's always nervous when anytime you do surgery. But uh, it, it, this is kind of routine, so it'll be good. Anyways, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna sleep for a bit. My shoulders as long as I'm able. Scare the monsters under your bed. Deep and abiding. Liking for you is all I need. Until my heart. I will do everything I can for you. You will grow up in the blink of an eye and move out and be on your own. It was made at home. And I think she sent a text saying, waiting for the doctor to make marks and then go over to surgery with the anesthesiologist. And that was five minutes ago, so I don't know how long that takes. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> okay, just so people don't think I'm like heartless, I am nervous for her and I'm excited. I know she's been wanting this for a long time, but there's nothing I can do. I just have to sit and wait, which is, you know, frustrating. It's crazy early in the morning. Hopefully all will go well, as I'm sure it will. But we'll see, we'll see her when she gets out. So I'll try and do what Dana does and keep you informed on what I'm doing. Just took Abby to work. Uh, she's gonna be picked up this afternoon after I pick up Dana. Tomorrow's gonna be hard because I have to go to work and kids, one, Abby has work and uh, different things, pick up, drop off. We'll have to coordinate that stuff. But I'm gonna go see, I think all the other kids are just lounging around asleep or just you know, awake but sitting and doing the teenage thing. I am gonna get some breakfast and just prep a few things for when Dana gets home. It looks like there is some laundry to do. So I'll do that. I know Dana doesn't like me to do it because I hang things wrong or something, but I'll get it out of the way. All right, got laundry done. I put some more in, hung up some other stuff. Right now I'm just gonna go chill. What is it? Oh, you finally woke up. Welcome. Welcome. It's midday. Welcome. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to film? Her, like, talking. It, she's gonna say something weird. You think she'll be kind of dopey from drugs? <laughs> yeah. She... Yeah. Alright, we'll or see. she'll just be like you, who just barely didn't do anything. Just was like... And just didn't have a clue or of anything. <laughs> you were just sitting there. I had no clue. Yeah, because I was tired from drugs. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go to our room and get the AC going.
because she's probably going to want to come home and sit in her little area that she's made for herself which is oh it's actually nice and cool it's not bad in here but i know she'll want it on oh oh they always leave everything going i think that's one of the uh, torments of a parrot is that the kids just leave doors open things on okay so i'm going to turn the ac unit on just turn it on gentle already pretty chilly in here but just give it a good one and we have her little corner set up that I'm sure she's shown you she's got her TV she already has some shows she's all planned on binge watching and I set up her pillows the big stack over there pillows she's got her water bottle maybe she'll want that I'll take it with me but we'll head down and we'll hang out until the doctor's call to tell me to pick her up I just want to get a head start on it all right i am here waiting it is what time is it 12 57. i know i got here early it's fine i'm watching shows and everything just right behind me the back there is where i'm supposed to pick her up and i'm just hanging out hopefully she you know you never know how long the little anesthesia knocks you out for some people sleep longer <laughs> she probably hasn't slept very well in the last few days, so she probably needs to sleep. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. And as soon as they text or call me or however they contact me, we'll pick her up. All right, update. About 20 minutes ago, they called and said that they would call me in 10 minutes. And everything went well. They're just trying to wake her up a little bit more. It is... Two, they said they'd call me at 1230 uh, to, you know, possibly be get down here by like one. So I don't know. I don't know what to believe, but uh, it's definitely taking longer than expected. But they said everything went well. Maybe she's just really loopy from the meds and not waking up very much. Anyways, I'm sitting in the party lot, but that's the update. Uh, like I said, 10 minutes is now 20 minutes. So, we'll see how much longer. We made it. So it took a little while. She's a little dizzy. Back pain hurt her. So My back pain is the biggest problem. Well, it's not. So now we got her in the car, and she's just trying to situate. You have your eyes open. I, need to I, I, I know, I, I need to acclimate to the car and get okay with like the change of location. Okay. We're just trying to cool her off and then we'll slowly down the way. I need to get the barf bag out. Okay. So, let me get that out. Missed a few good burps. Yeah. Missed Keep your good, eyes open. You missed some good opportunities. Keep your eyes open. I, I'm water. trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to get my eyes open. This is the point where you regret doing this. <laughs> I don't regret doing this. I know. It's just the pain. It's the discomfort and uh, dysphoria or, yeah. you know, disorientation. Of, so he uh, wants to go, but I need to, like... How about I'm I just only pull, focus on like one parking sign ahead of me. How about I just pull just, can you over just, there and we'll see. We're not on your time frame, dude. We're on mine. I know, but I'm sure someone else is going to need to pull Well, in. they don't right now. I need to just shift my eyes over here. And then I need to shift my eyes over here without getting dizzy. I understand that. Because I don't want to close my eyes the whole drive home. No, I don't I think you should. Be, right. I think it would be better for you to keep your eyes open. So I need to be able to like shift like 180 with my eyes open and refocusing around me. This is really pathetic that this is the motion I'm working on right now. Well, you laid still. Oh, gosh. Sitting still for so long is very hard on the body. 
so I want to explain. Do you have rock star for myself just pull and up for and other over people here. later? Let me just pull up over here. No, just can you just? I'm just gonna pull up it over there. I, okay, can you? Le no, this we is are. This is special parking is, space. This is yes, and I'm special. <sighs> we are not on your time frame. Okay, fine. We are Tell mine. Me. I'm the search of patient. Okay, if someone else. We're comes staying up, here. We'll park it. Go. Park it. It's parked. <sighs> Part my back pain. Like, aside from like opening my eyes and getting over the dizziness of it, um, in case anyone didn't know, I have. Um, Do you want to share all this? Yeah, it's, it's not related to this surgery at all, but it explains what pain I'm in right now. It has absolutely nothing to do with my surgery. Okay, I know. Um, I forgot what name it is. I must be on some meds. <laughs> That's why I'm asking um, if you can always edit this out, I guess, if you... No, it's fine. I have endometriosis, and my uterus is tilted toward my spine. So the combination of those two puts massive pressure on my spine, right at the lower of my back. And I Laying absolutely cannot lay on my back Throw in general. Stuff. So the fact that surgery is flat on my back. How time is it? Is there three? Yeah, this took a lot longer. I was uh, down here at like one. Oh really? Yeah, because they said they would call me at twelve thirty, and then roughly. So I figured out twelve thirty, one o'clock. But they hadn't called yet. No, and then uh, two hours ago they said they'd call me back in ten minutes. Okay. So you're a slow recoverer. Okay. Um. Oh. Let's let's slowly move. We'll get no, you. I know, I know, I know. He's being really impatient right now. I'm not being impatient. <laughs> let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can. I do. am seeing what I can do. I know. Let's just see what you can do. So anyway, before. my back pain is the only pain I'm in right now, aside from making sure I'm not dizzy. Let's so do this. And if you are seeing that I do not have a shoulder strap on, my seatbelt. Just because it can't come across your chest? It can't come across my chest. That is per the nurse. That is not me. And I am fine. buckled in, I am my waist. Yeah, you're good. I will fly through the windshield regardless. <laughs> you're a little dopey. Let's just slowly move. We'll stop videotaping. I'm we'll, not dopey, I'm aware of what I'm saying. That's what I said too, and you kept saying I was dopey. You know what, hon? This is a whole lot worse than a freaking colonoscopy. <laughs> Get over yourself. I'm just saying the meds make you loopy. I'm gonna we're gonna move we're gonna mosey on. Okay, put the, the camera on. away. Put the okay. camera away. Okay. I don't know if this is the best angle you want filmed. I don't mind if you show this. Okay. We'll have you laying down. It took us a while to get here. It took us forever to get home. Like to get in. But I just I want to document this. I want to like I know I'm not in the best mood. <laughs> You're good. You're doing good. Don't just relax. But I'm also like. <clears throat> you need to show people that it's not all just. No, it's not, and that's what I'm trying to like document. Yeah. So we have her set up here. We have her little goodie bag over there. Got her phone with her. She's got a little ice pack on her, various places. Yeah, I'll show you my ice pack here. Bye. Where did it go? It's right here. So we put it in a sock. It's his little sock thing. It was too cold by itself. Yeah. So I put them in socks. It just helps keep her cool. And it keeps I swelling like, down. Yeah. Um, they're itty bitty titties now. <laughs> <laughs> they are, and they. I know that there's like a lot going on down here. But, yeah, we'll um, get to that later. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> just lay down. <laughs> I like to look at them. Okay. It's like, like, you're you're still I a can, little loopy. Here's the thing. No, I'm not. Okay, you're not. I'm I'm I have a really scratchy throat because of the <clears throat> I, I'm assuming breathing tube. What was the tube? That, I'm assuming just breathing dry tube. throat. Just dry no, throat. No, it's a breathing tube. <laughs> they didn't, they, put, they didn't in. put it down your throat. They yes, put they it. did. Okay, fine. Yes, they did. Okay. Um, my friend Marla is. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry about traffic. You can come later if that helps. We have a lot of friends that are helping us out. Um, yeah, 
so the breathing tube has really made my throat scratchy. <clears throat> um, Jason thinks I'm not like all here, but I am. I'm fine. I understand, but you're also a up. Just like I was fine after my colonoscopy, but you no, guys... No, you were not lucid. I was lucid. But I just want to, like, I want to document, and Jason is not being patient right now. To let what me are you document. talking about? We're documenting. I know, but you're wanting me to be done, and I'm fine. No, I'm not. I just want to make sure you understand what you're videotaping. So, I understand what I'm videotaping. I have ice packs down my boobs, and I just had a boob job. I understand what I'm filming. And this ice pack doesn't belong in my arm sleeve. So can you hand me that? Sure. Ice pack. Oh, it broke. I mean, like the ice. I can't put these on my incisions. It just feels good to have them on my upper chest. What I want to say is that never before, like I, I, the dysmorphia or whatever the right word is, if I were to be laying down like this, pre-surgery, they would be like, Bloop. they'd be like off to the sides. So I keep looking for them to be, and I keep looking for them to be down here, <laughs> like off to the side. And so I, but I also, if they were in a bra and I was laying down, then I wouldn't be able to see, I wouldn't be able to see past them. I'm gonna cry because I can see, I can see clear to my feet, and that just made me happy. The surgeon reiterated before I went in, he so said, just to make sure if I have the chance to keep you safe and go a little bit smaller, is that still what you want? And that's what I wanted. Maybe they're a little small, but <laughs> I'm just not used to them being small. They look good. So part of the problem I'm having right now is that I can't tell if I'm blurry or if my camera is blurry. Is it blurry? I don't know. But Jason made me the start of a dinner. Um, some broccoli and some cottage cheese and some berries. But right when he brought that, my wonderful friend brought me a Jamba Juice. And I haven't had a Jamba Juice in so long. And it's the Orange Dream Machine. It literally is so good. So he's making me a chicken tender downstairs, but I might not need it. I might have him save it along with the rest of the broccoli so that the kids have an easy meal to make with for me later in the week. Oh, wow. This is the first time looking at myself. I'm really going to be careful with my arms right now. Um, I'm keeping my earbuds in because when people send me text messages, um, it'll read it to me. My phone will read it to me instead of having to lift my phone up and read it. I'm also doing voice texting to my friends and family. Um, so, um, but I, I won't be able to hold this camera for very much longer. Um, but I am feeling much better. Um, I took some uh, naproxen for my back pain. Ironically, like the back pain is the only pain that I'm feeling. Like literally, the only pain. Do you want a little sneaky peek of my like my little draw lines and there's my, oh, there's another draw line. And then I've got my little compression bra on. She brought me salt. Your hair is a mess. My hair is a mess. Do you want to brush it for me, boo? Dad tried to put it in a ponytail with the nurse and the nurse was like, when I was leaving the hospital and she was like, honey, do you have anyone at home? She's like, you have four girls. Can they do your hair for you and not your husband? <laughs> I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. I have one in particular that will be able to do my hair. Um, after this, I wanted it straight because it'll last longer like laying in bed. And then as soon as I get to take a shower, I might have her put in some braids. But I'm gonna put this camera down and I'm gonna eat my food. And how are you doing? My stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts? Okay. Well, you can come and lay in bed with me. I'm going to watch Heartland downstairs. Okay, go and watch Heartland downstairs. Shut my door. I'm kind of um, hoarding all the AC. I can't turn the camera enough. I'm going to put the camera down. I'm doing fairly good right now because I don't feel any pain. I don't know if I explained this, but the doctor is very optimistic 
that the nerve blocker he put in, um, this is probably gonna be a repeat, I don't know what I said to who, that the nerve blocker could potentially last for three days. And he's like, and that's the point where you would stop taking oxycodone. So if you don't even need the oxycodone, you might be able to escape using it altogether, which would be lovely because I would rather feel like this and not like doped up. But at the same time, I also need to like take naps and rest. So it's a little catch 22. Um, as soon as I don't feel the pain in my back, I, I think I'll be able to take a nap. But right now the pain in my back is pretty bad. It's, it's better sitting up. Um, Jason just kind of came and got me sitting up um, to eat so that he didn't have to hand spoon it for, to me. Um, but I'm doing pretty good. All right. You're doing good. Yeah, it just takes a lot of effort to get back into bed. I just peed a lot. And uh, I'm just in case you're doing this surgery, wear a pad. Because when you cough, hmm, no matter <laughs> if you just went to the bathroom for five minutes. Just a, a The setup's almost like normal. I get a little sliver over there and you have all this. Today is not the day to be a schmuck. Because <laughs> I'm going to say words that are not douche. That will actually have to be bleeped out. And I never have those. Okay, words. we're done. Well, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm doing good, though. You are. My back still really hurts. It hurts to the touch. But um, I'm going to in. Oh, I can do it in like. That took forever. <laughs> that took forever to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I literally hey, keep like, your hands down. Uh, I'm trying to keep the earbuds in. Um, I can take some Tylenol. I'm gonna, going to take some Tylenol here in 15 minutes. And uh, so that I'm overlapped on the naproxen and the Tylenol. So I don't have... And that literally is for my, my back. Not even for my chest. The blocker is still working for my chest. I haven't taken any oxycodone or any of uh, the other ones. So... It's just my stupid back that's causing the problem right now and making it hard to get into bed. Um, Hopefully so. a good night's rest will get that fixed. Yeah, we're not going to bed now. I mean, it's 7 o'clock. But <laughs> I still have to empty my drains um, once. And then... But the good news is there's not much fluid, so that's good. Yeah, it's not draining very much. So we'll see what happens overnight. But doing pretty good. All right. So I am ending the video. We have her, she's getting taken her medicine. She's laying down, we've got her propped up. She's doing good, but uh, she just needs to go to sleep. I think that's gonna be hard. Um, but anyways, thanks for coming along. She wants everyone to see this. Well, just she wants everyone to know what's really going on. So in case they're thinking about doing it or you know, contemplating the pros and cons of it, you can kind of see what it really is all about. Like any surgery, you know, you feel like crap the day of. I think she'll start getting better and feeling good, but you just can't move your arms a lot and stuff. So come along the journey. There'll be more of her recovery. She can't drive for two weeks. She can't lay on her side for two weeks. Uh, lift to do a whole lot of stuff. So we'll bring you along, uh, let you know how her progress. And, uh, you, you know, hopefully it helps you. And help, whether you're just curious or actually thinking of doing it, um, you know, it might be just be interesting. Come along. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Hopefully it's a nice community of people sharing their thoughts and ideas to help each other, build each other up, uh, encourage each other. Um, but thanks. And uh, subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notified for future stuff. And uh, thank you. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.